Hey, Donna Isha here. I just want to do this quick video to show um, what I use in my hair when I do my natural twist out um, look. As you may or may not know, I am over two years natural. Um, I did my own big chop uh, about two years ago and got rid of all perm um, hair, permed hair that I had. And so I've got some really good length here and I've been trying all kinds of different things, different protective styles, um, different chemicals, different lotions and potions and all kinds of things. But one of the things that I found that works best for me, especially when I come out of wearing um, a weave or something and I just need to do a twist, I like making my own shea butter. And of course I did my research on YouTube um, and other blogs just to kind of see what um, what was out there, what people were using, and the best thing I can say is you kind of have to come up with your own. Um, I enjoy making my own natural products. I think it's really fun, um, and I enjoy sharing it with other people. Um, I use my products not only for my hair, but I also use it on my skin and in the entire household. We all use it. So really quick, um, someone asked me what it was that I put in my shea butters. And so I wanted to do this video to, um, for that person and for anyone else who may be interested, um, just to kind of tell you exactly what I do. And uh, the one thing I can say is that I don't always put the same thing in my shea butter. Um, I use the shea, uh, the actual shea butter itself as a base most of the time because I like the consistency and it does really well um, on my hair and on our skin. It's not very greasy um, depending on what you put in it though. So I've made some in the past that I did not like because I put too much of, of an oil that um, made, the, made the butter um, too oily. So. Real quick, I'm going to show you what I did in my last batch of shea butter oil, which is here. I reuse containers because I like to recycle. So um, this is my current shea butter that I use. And again, this container is a recycled container, um, but this is going to last us for quite some time. Uh, like I said, we use this. I use it on my hair. We use it on our skin. Um, really good for feet as well. <laughs> feet and hands. Um, those really dry areas. Um, excuse me. I think that might be coming down with a cold. But that started as a block of shea. Um, and this is what we get our shea butter from a vendor um, out here in Baltimore. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's raw unrefined shea um, but you can get shea any shea butter or whatever you call it you can get um, the shea butter from anywhere they sell it at the beauty supply stores um, I've, I've purchased that before um, and it's not bad it's just uh, some I don't know how long it's been sitting there and I guess you really don't know how long anything has been anywhere so you just kind of have to use your best judgment um, kind of feel it and see what it feels like I really like the raw unrefined um, and I purchased it online as well using Amazon and other um, websites just to test it out. So um, that's something that you just have to kind of do your research a little bit and find out. And I'll try to put some uh, resources in the description so that um, you have at least somewhere to, to start looking. So what I do is I take the shea, I take a block of it, and I put it in a big bowl. And I just purchased a cheap little can mixer. <laughs> I actually purchased a separate one for my shea because I like to bake and you can use the same one but hand mixer, cheap, not anything big or expensive. And then what you want to do is put, um, is find the other oils that you want to add to your shea to loosen it up, make it more creamy um, and more of a butter consistency if you will. Now, I don't like putting the shea, you see it's a block, I let it go to room temperature. I don't like putting it in the microwave or melting it or over the stove or anything. I just like for it to be thick, um, but at room temperature so that it'll whip well. Then I begin to add other things. So the, what I put in this mixture is coconut oil, 100% um, pure. Um, this is actually organic. I don't really, well, sometimes I actually do purchase organic only, well... 
This one's 100% organic. <laughs> um, and it works really well. Right now, it's, it's hardened, but as you know, coconut oil, as soon as it's heated up or uh, even with the mixer, it loosens up and becomes a liquid really fast. So I have probably about two tablespoons or so of the coconut oil. And then um, I use grapeseed oil for my face naturally, just, just as it is. I don't put anything else in it, but I like it because it's not really oily, but it's also a good loose oil that um, helps to break up and loosen up the butter. So in this batch, I put um, probably about two to three tablespoons of the gray seed oil. And again, I usually don't measure, so I'm just kind of giving you an idea when I give you the measurements because um, I just kind of go by how how the butter is starting to look as far as con as far as its consistency. Um, and yeah, that's what I go by. Um, I put a little bit of olive oil in this one, not a whole lot, because for me, I like olive oil, but if I put too much in my butters, I find it to be very oily um, on my skin and on my hair. So um, a lot of people like olive oil and they use it. And I use it very sparingly on my skin and hair just because I find it to be kind of oily. Um, the other thing that I do um, is I put I have vitamin E oil. Um, and this actually helps to preserve the butter as well. Kind of it works as an antimicrobial um, so that the butter doesn't go bad so quickly. Um, so we try to use it so that it doesn't. And, and it shouldn't, but you also you do want to make sure that you um, incorporate some type of antimicrobial in your butters or oil mixtures um, so that they don't they don't either grow um, bacteria or microbes. Um, vitamin E oil is one way. You can also use neem oil. Um, I oftentimes use that. It has a very distinct smell to it. Um, so I don't use it all, all of the time, but it's a really good antifungal and antimicrobial oil. So, and this one, because I have planned on using it on hair and skin, and in our household we deal with eczema, so, um, and I just wanted a nice relaxing oil. So I use, I'm using up all of my, um, my oils, my essential oils, and this is lavender. So I put about... I don't know, maybe about 60 drops of lavender in this one. And that, again, is to, you use that to your discretion, depending on how, um, how strong of a smell you want your oils to have, your um, butters to have. I was look, going for a very strong lavender smell in this particular butter, so I use that, um, that one. But that's actually really it. So, I mean, that combination of oils that I just mentioned, created this butter. Um, as you can see, it's fluffy, you know, it's soft. And all you do is put it in the, in the bowl, mix it, um, and pour in the oil, other oils as you, you see fit. And, and keep mixing and mixing and mixing until it gets to a consistency that you like. And that's really it. It's really that easy. Um, I may do another video actually showing it, but you know, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to show how to make the oil. Um, and again, you just kind of have to come up with your own mixture, try a couple different things and see what works best on your skin um, and or on your hair. Now, the other thing that I do when I'm doing an actual twist, um, which is what I was asked about, is I wash my hair, I condition my hair, and then I go at it I don't even really part, but I go out and I get a section of hair. I rub my shea oil on the hair. And then I also just use, sometimes, depending on how long I'm going to wear the twist, I'll use some Eco Style gel just to kind of help it hold. I like this one because I don't find it to be very flaky. And um, it holds really well and it doesn't have any alcohol in it or anything. I don't, it doesn't dry my hair out. So, um, I don't use it very much. As you can see, I've had this, well, you can't see, but it's, it's not a whole lot used, and I've had this bottle for a while, so I'm sure it's going to last me a while, but um, but I, that, if I'm going to use a gel, that's the gel that I use. And then on a daily basis, um, I sometimes will take some of the shea, and I'll just rub it on my hands and just kind of rub it through, but I really like um, just all-natural argan oil, and this one um, is... 
uh, made from Creations Garden. You can use it on hair, all hair types. Doesn't really matter. It's from Morocco. And this is just 100% argan oil. I actually purchased this. I think I got it at Marshall's. <laughs> um, didn't get it at the hair supply store. I really don't care for the ones that I see at the um, the beauty supply stores because they seem to have they tend to have other things in them. And I just wanted an all natural argan oil. I um, actually used this on my mom's hair um, when she came out to visit me and for the first time. And she called me back asking me to to help her find it because her hair um, has become very thin over the years and it was feeling really rough and dried out and when I put this on all you need is a couple drops when I put this on her hair um she noticed that it was it was more soft um it wasn't as dry and and rigid feeling um the, as it was before and so again it's an all-natural product um this brand is not necessarily a preference or anything um it's just the one that I found that was a hundred percent um argan oil and that's what I, that's what I wanted so I like this a lot again you can also use this on your skin but uh, I typically tend to use this as more of the daily rub through um, when I'm when I'm wearing my natural styles and I also put this on my weave hair as well when I'm doing a protective style so this is good for for um, a lot of occasions but um, that's it so um, Again, I really enjoy making my own shea butters. It's one of the things that I like using in my hair um, now that I'm natural. And um, I'll go ahead and post a couple pictures from my journey or, and or post another video. Um, but that's really it. So I hope that this was either helpful or um, that you find this valuable. And please leave me a comment and let me know what you think or if you have any other um, suggestions or options for uh, making a really good shea butter for your hair or skin. I'd really be interested in hearing it, and so would my viewers. All right, well, thank you so much, and have a great day.